And it's been more than 20 years since Casey Ann Perry went missing in Southeast Portland. This week on True Crime Tuesday, the hosts of Murder in the Rain podcast look back at what happened before the 10 year old disappeared. Welcome back to True Crime Tuesday. Today we're discussing the disappearance of 10 year old Casey Ann Perry. On September 14, 1990, Casey got into a disagreement with her father when he suggested she needed to move out of her mother's home and into his. After the fight, Casey packed some of her clothes and snuck out of his house on Southeast 37th Avenue in Portland around 11 p.m. It's thought that she may have tried to go to her mother's home in Kaiser. Not long after she left her father's house, witnesses spotted her at the Keenow's food store 10 blocks away. Shortly after the sighting, Casey's personal items were found abandoned near the store. They included her purse and a bright pink blouse with large black buttons. There have been two unconfirmed sightings of Casey since then. Witnesses saw someone fitting Casey's description, possibly hitchhiking. Both occurrences happened within days of her disappearance. One sighting was along the I-5 in Albany and the other sighting along the I-205 near Wilsonville. Casey's family has never seen nor heard from her since the day she went missing. In August of 1991, a man named Brian Keith George confessed to murdering Casey. Brian has a previous manslaughter conviction and he knew Casey as he had previously dated her mother and continued to remain close to Casey and her siblings even after their relationship ended. Brian confessed to her murder while in police custody for a robbery he committed two weeks prior to Casey's disappearance. According to Brian's account, he killed Casey and buried her in Kelso, Washington. Searches took place in the wooded area he described in his confession. However, no human remains were recovered. George later recanted. To this day, he is still a suspect. However, there was never any evidence that linked him to her murder. Today, Casey would be 41 years old. She has blonde hair and blue eyes. At the time of her disappearance, she had significant dental issues that would be noticeable when she smiles or speaks. She has a scar on her right foot near her ankle and a large mole in the center of her back. If anyone has information about Casey's disappearance, who can they contact? You're asked to call the Portland Police Department at 503-796-3400. Thank you so much for watching and be sure to join us next week for another True Crime Tuesday. And for more from Murder in the Rain, follow them on social media, listen to their investigations wherever you stream your podcasts, and tune in to AM Extra every Tuesday morning for a new local case.